In this slide, we will talk about why we need complex numbers. Let's start with an example first. Let's start with a simpler example than this one. We have x squared minus 4 equals to 0. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to find a value of x such that this equation on the left hand side is also equal to 0. Uh, what can we do? Well, we can say let x equals to x squared minus 4, this equation, and then we begin to plot. This is x and this is y, and then we plot, of course, for the value of x when x is 0, so y is minus 4. So minus 4 is here, and we have one point here. Now when x is 1, then the answer is it is at minus 3. So this is minus 3 is here. And when x is minus 1, minus 1 times square is also uh, min is plus, plus 1, so it is here. So when x is equal to 2, it is 2 squares. So then we have 2 square, which is 4 minus 4 is 0. And the other side is also minus 2 times minus 2 is also 4. And now we can plot this parabola. And this parabola is actually y equals to x squared minus 4. Sorry about this. Yeah, okay. So you realize that uh, when we give you an equation like this, you can set it to y, and then you can then plot x versus y, or y versus x. Now, so what is the condition when this y is equal to 0? So this is the two points over here that we are interested in. When x is equal to 2 and when x equals to minus 2. So we call this the, the solution of the equation or the roots of this equation such that uh, y is equal to 0. Alright, so we realize that uh, to solve for this equation then x can be equal to plus or minus 2 as indicated by uh, this curve crossing the horizontal axis here. Okay, we know how to solve for x squared minus 4. What about x squared plus 4? Then you realize that, well, uh, when we when we solve for x squared plus 4, uh, now we, we draw this curve. And you realize that, well, when x is 0, y is already 4. So you realize that the curves, this is y is equal to x squared plus 4. Because when x is 0, y is already 4. So this is x and this is y. So this para this this curve has just moved up by the change of this constant over here. And now it does not cross uh, the horizontal axis. There is no x such that y will be equal to 0. So this is the condition here. Basically, uh, when we try for to solve x squared plus 4 equals to 0, we move the 4 to the right hand side, so it's x squared equals to minus 4, and now when we stick the square root on the left and right hand side, we got x equals to square root of minus 4, and we didn't know, or we do not know, how to solve this. Well, let's progress. Uh, minus 4 is equals to minus 1 times 4, right? So nothing changed, the radical, the square root sign is outside still. Uh, by the law of exponent, we can break this into two parts. So we have this, and remember we have defined that square root of minus 1 to be j, so it's j, and square root of 4 is plus minus 2. So the answer is plus and minus 2 j is the answer. Okay, so look here. We can solve if we admit the use of imaginary numbers, then the x squared equals to minus 4 has uh, two solutions, which are imaginary numbers, purely imaginary numbers, plus and minus 2j. Please remember that j is a definition, right? We define j to be square root of minus 1, and we use the law of exponent to manipulate it like this. So if j is square root of of minus 1, what is j squared? Well, j squared is square root of minus 1 times square root of minus 1, so this is minus 1. So we realize that we can actually, through some multiplication, uh, convert a purely imaginary number to a real number again. Uh, this is one way. Alright. 
What about when z is equals to j y? Well, when z equals to j y, what is z square? So basically, we have uh, j y bracket square. We can move the square into uh, inside this j y. So it's j y j squared times y squared, and j squared as we have known now, it is minus one. So it is minus one times y squared, which is this solution over here. Okay, so you'll learn how to do some of this manipulation later on, but uh, this is one motivation why we need complex numbers. For polynomials, sometimes when we want to solve for the roots of the equations, we can't solve them because there is no real number that will solve this equation correctly. Thank you.